Hello. Hi, Lucy. Hi, you're wearing that white shirt I, again. I know I am. And people just say, is there anything else that you ever wear? And I have a lot of tops. We all know about the wardrobe. But it is my classic thing that I find a shirt that goes with everything. And then I buy three. I'm going to go through these with you and just tell you why I think it's so important that every woman should have at least three white shirts. So first question, what's yeah. the difference between a shirt and a blouse? Well, a blouse will not necessarily have um, buttons down the front, but it's generally made of a soft fabric. And a shirt, to me, is based upon a man's concept of a shirt, and it will have buttons down the front and some kind of collar. I think, like school uniform, some of us feel maybe hesitant to wear a white shirt and black bottoms because it feels like a uniform. Okay. In the area of white shirts, you have white, you have ecru, and you have cream, all right? Okay. So you've got to find which is your sort of white shirt shade. This shirt, which I adore, which my sister tried the other day, and I didn't give it to her, which I would normally have done because I thought it's such a beautiful shirt, but it's cream. It's, well, it's, this is ecru, actually. Yeah. And it's just not as good for me as the white, mm -hmm. all right? Yeah. So uh, when I put people in ecru, it's usually people, it could be a little bit your coloring. Lucy, they might have freckles, they might have some warmth in their hair, they might have a sort of greeny eye instead of a bright clear blue or ver verging on a hazel. And if you see, sit in cool, like cool tone skin, whatever shade it is, it's cool toned and no red in your hair and a cool eye, it could be a bright blue or a cool brown, but it's a cool eye, then white, white, is your friend. Right. Is there anything that is like a designer and then a dupe on the high street? Ah, all right. Mm, interesting. For me, I could go into a really expensive designer shop and find a shirt which had that kind of lovely collar and neckline, I'm going to call it. And your neckline and what neckline you should wear is very important to make it something chic. So I'm going to show you on me some wrong and right ways. Okay. But you'll notice that it's very rare I undo a front of her shirt. Yeah. I like the sharpness that that neckline can give you and I think it gives a modernity to clothes. The other thing as well is if you have a shorter neck, you kind of want the distance between where your neck ends and the shirt to be a bit longer, to give you an elongated neck. I'm gonna just show you my sort of classic look, which you've all known me do. And you have a nice amount of white popping out here and it really frames my face. Now, if this was a open neck shirt, I'm gonna show you the difference by just switching it around. Okay, so imagine it was a shirt like that. Different look Gosh. and just for me doesn't really suit me but if you had big boobs and you wanted and you had a short neck having that kind of clean neckline would elongate your neck further down and be quite flattering but the expanse you see between here and here is very long yeah and i have a long face as well so that just drains me and ages me and then if i put a jacket on top of it i don't have that white framing my face so it's just a very different look yeah the sharpness of the jacket and the richness of the jacket and the expensiveness of that jacket is gone. That's incredible, Yeah. the difference. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna take you through a few of my friends all right. and why I love them. So let's talk about collared shirts, all right? Um, this is a shirt, this is slightly off-white, mm -hmm. this is Ecru from Massimo Dutti. And I think it's good to have one clean white shirt blouse in your cupboard that is round-necked whatever your boob size, I'm just gonna say that. And you can get them from Zara, Cos, Massimo Dutti, um, where else do I get them from? River Island, I've got these ones from, by the way, this one from River Island is back in stock with gold <gasps> buttons. Ooh. Yeah, just so you know, it's back in stock with gold buttons. Now, another shirt to have, I think should be in every woman's wardrobe, is a shirt that gives a jacket a new lease of life. And what I mean by that is it has a really lovely central detail and it has a sleeve which is gonna pop out the end of a jacket and give it something extra. Okay, so you can have a jacket which can have a sleeve like that. And sometimes if you have long arms, you think to yourself, it looks too short on me. Mm -hmm. But what I do is if I always have the sleeve poking out, it just gives an added element yeah. to that jacket. 
and it gives a nice length. And you could do this even if you're petite and you've got a three quarter length jacket, but you want the sleeve to come out at the end to complete the outfit. So I love to have one shirt with a particularly good sleeve. And if this is a bit short, you could see a bit more that pops out the bottom. And even though this is very ornate, I love the dress shirtness of this uh, Massimo Dutti yeah. blouse. And I, I like to have a covered button. So for this look, it's really rather pretty to have that covered button. Yeah. You can find shirts that um, go straight across like that. Yeah. And when they do, you can't tuck in the front. Mm -hmm. And you know how much I love a front tuck. I do. Because it gives a different proportion to your body. So I would always look for shirts that are not um, straight across the bottom so that I can tuck in the front if I want to. Um, many women might think, I don't like my tummy, I'll wear it out. So this kind of shirt is also quite good because at least it elongates your legs a little bit at the side. Oh, yeah. If it went straight across, it would really shorten your leg length. Yeah. So if you're somebody who really doesn't want to tuck a shirt in and you want to just get the neat fit here, try and make sure it fits you around here so that you can just have that nice, gentle um, scoop in the front. So Cos, I have to say, are one of the best people to make white shirts. And this shirt is the first time that I bought shirts in multiples and I had three of them, if not four. I wore them nearly every single day and I love the fact that it was this poplin, mandarin collared dress shirt front, but here's jersey. So the stiffness you associate with the dress shirt was not on this shirt. And then you could just tuck it in and you'd feel that it wasn't taking up much space. But it, it's just, you know, it's a little bit tired now, but I would keep this because it's still white yeah. and it, it's really important just to press your shirts. And when you press shirts, something like this, I would use starch. So you can see that my shirts have a pattern, but this shirt, which is from Topshop, they don't have it anymore. I have still, I have two left. I did have four, but they got a bit yellow. I found this shirt a very clever shirt, very clever blouse. Okay. because it has these elements in it that can layer. It is made of poly or viscose. Right. So I, I never felt though I really sweated in it, but I don't, even though I've gone through, when I bought this, I was very menopausal. I was okay in it. Okay. Uh, so I tuck in the front and this I, I found so clever because there are times when the buttons here might be a bit protruding or you know, you just didn't want to see the top, but I didn't want to wear a shirt really long, so it shortened my legs. So it just went over a bit. So I just had the ability yeah. to have a really lovely kind of structure to a shirt. That is amazing. It's a great shirt. And this was a Topshop shirt for 49 pounds. Wow. Victoria Beckham. Oh. So that, it's not, that's in a way, the Victoria Beckham shirt, which is a fantastic shirt. This is the best buy I ever made, because this is actually Victoria Beckham. Look at that sleeve. What's it say there? For Target. Oh, cool. She did this range yeah. in America, and this was like 40 pounds. I know that it costs, I, I know there was no money made for the shirt, because I could just see the detail of it. Yeah. But that was a real find. And keeping shirts clean. So should we talk about keeping shirts yes. clean? Because that's like, oh, you know, you have a white shirt in your wardrobe and you just think it's a little bit dirty. So I think a reason why I don't have so many shirts with collars is because I prefer not to cut my neck in half mm -hmm. um, because then it just looks weird. And I prefer to show all of my neck. But it means that I don't get makeup on my collar. So Zara do some good shirts. This shirt is about four years old. They still do a similar version of it. And so I think investment dressing can come from lots of different places. Yeah. It's how you look after your clothes. It's how you nurture them. It's that thing of, do I have a place for it? Will I wear it? And you might look at all these shirts and think, Trini, how could you even have enough days to wear these shirts? But I always find places to wear these shirts. I mean, I just, I can't think, Lucy, of which one I might want to get rid of. I'll show you a classic beautiful shirt. Okay. Two classic beautiful shirts. One still fits me and one doesn't. This shirt does have a collar. I'm very careful not to wear makeup. I usually wear it, funnily enough, in the summer. Um, and it's a length of sleeve, which I generally, if it was tight, I wouldn't like. 
because I find that aging when you're over a certain age, but because it has the volume, it works. I find it naughtily sexy because I don't wear a bra with it. And sometimes people go, hey, Trini. Sorry, let me just pull it down. Well, this is very see, sexy. Yeah, I can see your, your nip nips, but like, you know, if I leant forward, is there a flash? I don't mind that. It's like a woman wearing a deep cleavage bra. That's my little sexiness. I can wear it totally out like this. Yeah. And because you have a see-throughness, you see the shape of my body. It's not cutting you off. Or I can tuck it in. So that, that is like... I love this shirt yeah. and I and I was thinking to myself I'd like to get it copied because I love it so much and, and they don't make it and I've looked on eBay and I've looked on Bestiaire Collective. Um, getting second hand white shirts is really tricky because people, you know, it's harder to look after yeah. white shirts. I did buy this shirt and now you can tell it doesn't fit me. But when it fit me, oh, wow. it was just the most incredible thing and I'm keeping it for Lila. But that's like, that's when a shirt costs an extreme amount of money and it becomes a little piece of architecture yeah. on your body. For sure. You know, imagine if this fit. It's very sort of Japanese, isinyaki-ish, but and then look at the back. So cool. And I just, you know, I think one day Lila might wear it. And, oh, she, yeah, And I definitely. don't want to get rid of it. I wouldn't get much money for it. Um, and I just think one day if I ever did, if I ever did a clothing collection, there are certain things I keep that I think that's so ingenious in its yeah. design. I'd want to be inspired by an element of it. Like I love the length of the cuff, all these different things on it. Occasionally, where I want to be a bit feminine and delicate. And I did buy this shirt for that. I'd had a shirt like this in this Balmorant. It's what I call lawn cotton. It's mm -hmm. that soft, it's softer than Egyptian cotton. Yeah. It's, it's just so pretty. And this was from me and M who do beautiful, um, shirts and they are you know they go from 90 pounds to 300 pounds in the summer I might wear this one open because I just like the little playful romanticness here yeah. and, and I just feel I can do that and don't feel the barrenness of that first shirt I did the deep mm -hmm. V but like that it's also really pretty yeah it's just it, it I feel feminine That's very and nice. white shirts sometimes we feel the least feminine in them yeah so if I'm looking now and I'm saying, okay, what would be the key shirts you should have in your wardrobe? Yes. Right. I'd say a feminine white shirt. Yeah. So something with a little frill. And if you're not a very frilly person, just a tiny little bit of lace or something. And I have that, you know, I have that. This is an original one, but not the right color for me from Isabel Morant, which mm -hmm. I loved. Um, this is Zara. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking that's of. exactly. God, you know, my wardrobe better than me. So that's really interesting that that's Zara and that's so pretty that and it was probably 29.99 with that lovely elasticated cuff and that detail and I wear that over a new bra and there's the Sara which was about 600 pounds yeah this is another little find you know with a volume sleeve from Zara last yeah, these summer are cute. and it was it's really cute because it's covering your boobs here and then it's see-through at the back so that's in a way sort of a, a inspiration of my highly uh, high street version of the um Valentino yeah does the same thing yeah I'd say a shirt with a dramatic sleeve or collar. Yep. Um, so, you know, for me, I was saying the Christopher Kane. I could also say, I didn't put this on, but this is a s shirt, which you might think is a, a shirt for, with a sort of, what I call a classic hunting stock, but really dramatic and with a white shirt, mm. with, a, with a jacket on top. It looks, it, it makes it like a velvet jacket. It looks kind of fabulous. And then finally, I'm going to just talk about this little number. Oh, good. I wanted to ask you. So there are times when I wear a dress and I've done this a little bit where the dress is very barren or black and it's a it's an evening dress. Shall I give an example of this? Yeah, I've just chucked this on top. This is a Zara dress. that's quite black and I don't always suit black. This little thing which goes around you like a little waistcoat and then I do that up and it fits really well. If you have a V-neck dress, that's an evening dress and you want to make it a day dress. Mm -hmm. And you just put a collar on it and you go like that. So then it just turns into another look and I can just actually wear this like that. Anyway, that was it. Okay. White shirts, Lucy. Thank Be you so inspired, much. ladies. Very. Bye. Bye.